Delicious Zayas. Today, let's dissect the mosquito. Before learning about mosquitoes, I first let myself be bitten by a mosquito. And immediately, mosquitoes appeared. When a mosquito bites, the bitten area becomes red and swell. The reason is that when mosquitoes suck blood, they inject saliva into our bodies. Mosquitoes' saliva contains various proteins that prevent blood clotting and have various functions. These substances trigger an immune response within our bodies, causing itching and swelling. Since mosquitoes move between various humans and animals to feed, during this process, viruses and parasites are transferred and diseases are spread. That's why mosquitoes are pests. Only female mosquitoes engage in blood sucking. For comparison, I prepared male and female mosquitoes. You can easily distinguish between male and female by looking at their antenna. The ones with antenna resembling combs are males. Firstly, males do not engage in blood sucking. They feed on flower nectar and plant juices. So, if you dissolve sugar in water and offer it to a mosquito, it will consume it eagerly. However, the frustrating truth is that even females can survive by feeding on nectar like this. But why do females choose to consume blood? The reason is that when females develop their ovaries and produce eggs, they need to obtain proteins from animals. Now, let's dissect a female mosquito. To dissect a mosquito, a microscope is necessary. When we magnify the mosquito and observe, we can first see its delicate wings. While most insects have two pairs of wings, mosquitoes belong to the Diptera order, which has only one pair of wings. Among the mosquitoes' two pairs of wings, one pair is modified into halters. Therefore, we can see these halters beneath the wings. Looking at the mosquito from the side, its body is divided into three parts. The head, thorax, and abdomen. Mosquitoes are arthropods, so their legs are segmented into segments. For observation purposes, the legs are removed like this. Moving on to the head, it has a pair of compound eyes, pair of antenna, and a pair of palps located above the proboscis. Mosquitoes use their antenna and palps to detect prey's odors, heat, carbon dioxide. And this is the proboscis, a piercing mouth part. Although it looks like a single tube, it is a combination of several organs. Upon separation, we can see the blood-sucking tube in the middle. Next, at the thorax, the wings and legs are attached and the abdomen is divided into several segments. To see the internal organs, if you pull the second segment from the end, you can see what looks like a white tube inside. These are the Malpighian tubules, part of the insect's excretory and osmoregulatory system. The gonads are positioned above the Malpighian tubules, but they are not fully developed yet, so they are a little uncertain. When the ovaries mature and eggs are produced, they take on this shape. By carefully pulling this part, we can even see the mosquito's digestive system. A mosquito that ingests blood can see that its digestive tract is filled with blood. Mosquitoes are difficult to dissect in detail, so this is my best. So, mosquito dissection ends here. Cleanse your eyes with Sleeping Sebastian. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe my channel.